All right, guys, we had just finished the Harris Chain event. Had another awesome tournament. Ended up in 24th. Um, I started the tournament off very similar to Rayburn. I had a really strong first day. I had caught 21 7, was sitting in fourth place. And um, I caught a majority of those fish on a lipless crankbait, uh, Z Man Jack Hammer. What else do we got here? And then a little bit of flip in the last day. We'll get into that. Uh, and I caught some on a jerk bait as well. The first day, the conditions were a little bit different than they had been in practice. We, it was real foggy. Um, it was kind of slick calm out there. And we had a little bit of wind in practice. Kind of similar to how the next two days will be, what we'll get into. But I pulled up my first spot I found, and I was catching a lot of fish here. There was a bear patch in the grass. I was fishing over in Lake Griffin. Um, there was hydrilla clumps here and there, just kind of scattered. There was weed lines. And this bear patch, for whatever reason, it had a lot, a lot of fish on it. Like, when I pulled up, you'll see, I caught probably, I would say, 15 of them in the first uh, 20 minutes or so. Maybe more. It was, it was crazy. A lot of little ones. Um, I did get one four pounder off that spot, so it panned out pretty well that way. Uh, in practice, it was a lot of small fish too, but then I was able to hook one real big one. I never saw it, but I could just feel it down there shaking its head, and it pulled off that uh, trap that I was throwing. So it was what it, it. I found the spot, so that was what kind of worked out there. Day two, or I'm sorry, later in day one, there I was working around. I was trying to coal. I found one spot in practice that had just like a single big clump out there um, they were scattered but this one clump I had caught a couple three pounders off of in practice um, and I went there caught another four in the afternoon at that point the water had slicked off and I caught that one on a trap and then I was working my way up kind of just sampling each one of those clumps as we were going and I caught a 712 it was giant this fish it walked me around the boat it was quite the battle there's another video that I'm going to uh, post on my Facebook and Instagram page that you'll be able to see um, that my marshal she took a uh, video when I was fighting it and it was walking me all over the place so it was pretty awesome it was a giant fish really set the tone for uh, day one so then we would go on to day two which would normally be Friday unfortunately we had uh, some uh, real strong wind blowing through a cold front came in and they uh, canceled day two. So that kind of threw us for a loop. A um, couple of us at the house there, uh, Matt Becker, Tyler Stewart, and Dylan Hayes, we all went up to, it's called Orange Lake, and we had a little two on two action. Another video will be coming out with that awesome day. Uh, you'll get to see a couple big fish get caught. Tyler and I may have doubled up on one and uh, put Matt and uh, Dylan in their place want a little free dinner out of it but back to the FLW tournament on Harris day three ended up being on Saturday so error the full field fished um, being in fourth place I got to start with the live camera um, there's a little bit of action I got on it making that long run to Griffin which takes over an hour with the lock and then depending on your boat number I was an early boat number day one so I got through pretty fast day two I sat and waited for probably 45 minutes it took a while to get through there maybe even more um day two i pulled up that first spot where i was catching all those little ones i was telling you about and i caught the one four pounder and with that cold front that had come through and that hard wind from what canceled the day and we still had a pretty good wind going it um ended up just not having them i think it got too cold was a big problem there and not having anything there like no grass for them to move into it just kind of stopped them from biting so then I ended up um, kind of scrambling around and I, I fought and clawed and I was fishing all the stuff that I caught them on and instead of getting 50 bites like on day one I ended up getting eight and I only had eight and a half pounds or so and I dropped the 24th place which luckily was still enough to make that top 30 cut um, everybody was fishing on championship Sunday for the top 30 instead of the top 10 uh, I ended up being coming a three-day tournament instead of four and I went out with the idea that I was just gonna go out there and try to catch as many as I could and see what would happen. And then um, we just kind of went out there. I was grinding away on all those spots I've had. Wasn't really getting a whole lot going. And um, I decided I was gonna go flip for some uh, 
largemouth in the pad, see if I couldn't get anything out of them. We'll go over the baits here all in a second, but thanks for watching and please subscribe. All right, guys, we are here at Lake Martin, and I want to go over from the Harris chain what baits and rods and all that I was using. So we're going to start with basically what was my workhorse um, this past week. It was a combination of this and Z-Man jackhammer, but we'll start with the trap. I caught a lot of fish on this. Um, I'm not even sure what the color is. It's a six cents bait. Um, it's a snatch 70, but I caught, you can see it, it's worn out. It got a lot of bites. I was throwing that on my favorite rod. It's a rush. It's a 731 heavy. Um, it's a, got a lot of tip on it, so it really lets you like snap it. It's got the good backbone to get it out of that hydrilla that we were talking about earlier. Um, same thing. All the reels I had on this week were the Ardent Grands. They're 7.3 to 1. Nice and fast. They let you pick up a lot of line. Um, just a great all-around reel. I use it for all my bait casters. The next thing that I caught a bunch of fish on was the Z-Man Jackhammer with the Razor Shad. You can see here, I, this one's actually a 3.8. I took off the one I was using in the tournament. Um, this one's getting ready for Gunnersville, getting ready for the classic. So, but it was the same color. It was a white silver blade. It's got that razor shad on there. I threw that one on the 741 uh, Phantom Cranking Rod. It's the fat glass. It's medium heavy. It's a great all around rod. I've talked about this a lot, um, especially down at Rayburn. It plays a big role in it. I'm gonna catch a lot of fish, I think, on Gunnersville with this setup. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, when those fish would come up schooling, we were talking about throwing a jerk bait. It's a Mega Bass. It's one at Vision 110. I believe it's called Pearl, this one. Um, when they'd come up next to the boat, or even when I was just working those hydraulic clumps, you'd take this when the bite would get tough, you'd twitch it along there, and they would come up and just uh, come up, crush it. Uh, I was throwing that on a rush as well. Um, it was a 701 medium heavy. It's a great rod for that um, jerk bait. So that was that. And then the last thing, the last day I was flipping those pads we were talking about, I was throwing the Z-Man. This is the Zinker Z. It's in black blue laminate. I was throwing it on a 3.8 Eco Pro Tungsten uh, flipping weight. You can see the Hayabusa hook. This is a FPPP strike shank. Um, it's a 4.0. I'll just take it in there. Um, Take it on my favorite rod. It's a big sexy. It's a 741. And I would just pitch it into those pads, get it right on the pad stem where the root would come down. And that's where those fish would be spawning. And um, I caught my two biggest ones the last day doing that. So that was the um, main four things I threw. I also threw that um, drop shot you guys saw possibly on FLW Live. Uh, that ended up being the only fish I caught that day on it. Um, I caught some in practice. Same thing with that Z Man. Um, Zinker Z, just putting it on a drop shot. I was throwing on a, uh, I believe it was a quarter ounce drop shot weight from Eco Pro Tungsten. But that's my uh, setup this past week. And if you want to watch, we'll have some highlights. And I'm going to be working on getting a couple, hopefully a classic video out before it gets started. Just a little bit about how I prepared for the tournament and whatnot. So. Just if you can subscribe to my channel, um, watch some of the other videos, there's lots of good stuff there. And if there's any other questions you ever have or um, videos you want to see, leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Thanks.